Now we come to a very important class of topologies which is called the metric topology on a set. So what is the metric topology? A metric topology is uh, given by a metric. So then the question arises what is a metric? So what is what is a metric? So a metric is a generalization generalization of uh, the notion of distance between two points. So for example, if you take uh, your real line, so suppose that x is your real line and um, the distance between two points x and y on the real line is so suppose I write this distance as dx comma y. So this this distance uh, is nothing but the absolute value of the difference of x and y. Now there are some properties of of this function um, that are fundamental to the notion of a distance. So the first one is that x minus y the distance is zero if and only if x equal to y. So of course if x equal to y then this x minus x is 0 but also if x minus y the absolute value is 0 then x equal to y. Um, this is simply because mod of x minus y is the maximum of x minus y and y minus x. So if this is 0 then the maximum of these uh, gives you x equal to y. If the maximum is 0 then th that gives you x equal to y. So this is one of the important properties. The second one is that the distance between x and y is the same as the distance between y and x. So if you change the um, order uh, of these two points x and y then still you should give the get the same result. Right, so if you travel from x to y, you travel a distance dxy, and if you travel back from y to x, you travel a distance dyx, and of course they should be the same amount, right? So so d of xy is the same as d of yx. And the third important property is that is the so-called triangle inequality inequality so what is the triangle inequality inequality uh, so if x y and z are three points on the real line then the distance between x and y is less than or equal to the distance between y uh, first of all x and z x and z and adding the distance between z and y okay so this is called the triangle inequality for the distance function and it is not very difficult to show for example uh, so i'll i'll use, I'll use uh, the following formula but uh, i will leave this as an exercise for you to uh, prove so prove this triangle inequality prove this triangle inequality using the following formula following formula so you can use that x minus y the absolute value this is equal to twice the maximum of x and y minus x plus y okay so this is just one way to show this triangle inequality um, and it is not very difficult. Uh, you can do it yourself. So I leave it as an exercise. So these three things are um, the main fundamental properties of the distance function um, of the um, given by the absolute value of the difference between two points in on the real line. And so we shall use these three properties to define what is called an abstract distance function or in other words a metric so this is how we define a metric 
metric function so a metric function is a function on a set so uh, let x be a set uh, then a function function d from the cartesian product x cross x to the positive real line so it is uh, the it is the part of the real line including zero up to plus infinity okay so this is the positive half of the real line sometimes also denoted by r plus okay so uh, this is a map from the cartesian product x cross x and takes the values in this positive real line and this is called a metric function metric function if it satisfies satisfies the following properties properties so the first is that um, dxy is equal to zero if and only if x equal to y so this is the property the first property that we noted down for the uh, distance function on the real line the second one was that d of x y is equal to d of y x and the third one was the triangle inequality inequality so this is for any three points x y and z in x we have that d of x y is less than or equal to d of x z plus d of z comma y so this uh, a function d defined on the cross product x cross x is um, called a metric function if it satisfies all these three properties now given such a metric function uh, we can use it to define a topology on this on this set x which we shall call the metric topology so what is the metric topology so we give the definition metric topology uh, so suppose that let x be a set and d which was from the cartesian product to the positive real line be a metric function function on your set x then define this this set b d so this is for uh, any point x in x and any real number r greater than zero okay so b d x r this is the set of all y belonging to x such that d x y is less than r okay and this we shall call this set we call this set the um open well the r ball r ball centered at x and radius radius r so once we have these um, these um, sets b d x r then we can use these sets to define a uh, basis on x on x so uh, we shall define a basis define a basis b d on x as follows so b d is the collection of all these sets b d x r for x in x and r positive okay so um, the first thing we want to show that that this collection does in fact define a basis so i claim that b d is a basis on x so let us see a proof of this claim 
Um, so the first part uh, for checking whether it is a basis is quite easy because well uh, x belongs to b x r for any r greater than zero okay so every point belongs to a basis set now to check the second part to prove the second property uh, we we will show the following so we will show that given um, x in x and r greater than 0 and a point to y in b d x r there exists a delta greater than 0 is a positive strictly positive number delta greater than 0 such that b d y delta so this is the um, delta ball centered at y centered at y so the radius is is delta and it, it is centered at y so this this set is a subset of b d x r so suppose that we we know this uh, to be true so assuming this result assuming this result now take two uh, sets in bd so two basis elements say uh, b1 and b2 and since uh, b1 is of some is of the form bd x1 r1 and b2 is of the form bd x2 r2 so uh, by the above result by the above result there exists for y uh, belong to the intersection b1 intersection b2 uh, there exists uh, well let me write it here for y belonging to the intersection there exists delta 1 and delta 2 positive numbers such that we have bd y delta 1 is a subset of b1 and bd y delta 2 is a subset of b2 so then if we take uh, the smaller of these two numbers delta 1 and delta 2 then we will have uh, uh, that um, that will give us the required basis set which contains y and it is contained in b1 intersection b2 so let delta be the minimum of delta 1 and delta 2 then y belongs to b d y delta and it is a subset of b1 intersection b2 so um, we only need to show this result that um, given any x and r greater than 0 and a point in the in the r ball centered at x there exists a delta greater than 0 such that the delta ball centered at y is a subset of the r ball centered at x so how do we show this so let's see a picture uh, in the case of the real line so the r ball centered at x is nothing but the open interval from x minus r to x plus r okay so b d x r is nothing but the open interval from x minus r to x plus r and now we choose a point to y here in the in this um, r ball centered at x and now we have to choose a delta such that the uh, delta ball uh, so this is y minus delta and y plus delta this is a subset of the interval x minus r to x plus r so how do we do this so we can choose we can choose delta to be r minus the distance x between x and y so this is the distance dxy which is nothing but r minus 
modulus of x and y for the case of the real line on R. And then um, <coughs> what do we have? So, so we, we have to show that if a point Z belongs to B D Y delta, then Z also belongs to B D X R, right? So what does it mean to say that Z belongs to B D Y delta? Well, this is nothing but um, saying that D of Y Z is less than delta, right? So um, <coughs> Now, if d of y z is less than delta and delta is nothing but r minus dx y, then this implies that uh, dx y plus d y z is less than r. Okay, and uh, we know that from the triangle inequality, from the triangle inequality that uh, dxz is less than or equal to dxy plus dyz and this is less than r and so we have proved that dxz is less than r which means that z belongs to the r ball centered at x so this means that z belongs to bd x comma r so we have shown that um, we, what we wanted to show that uh, if if you have a, a a point not here so if you have a point y in b d x r then there exists a delta such that b d y delta is a subset of b d x r and here delta equals r minus d x y works for the proof and so uh, our uh, claim that uh, bd is a basis is done